Okay, so I have with me here the um, W10 CKX wallet. Okay, so I'm going to take off this seal and to take off this seal and and then connect the USB port. Okay, this USB port. Connect the USB port to my PC, and then I'm going to install it. And so walk you through how you can install it. So plug this here, right? Plug this here, and I'll plug it to my PC. Slot it to my computer. So it's booting as you can see on the screen. And if you can see it, but it's booting and requesting me to get started. So <coughs> I'm going to click on get started and then you set up a personal pin. Right? Set up a personal pin. Okay, four a digit pin so I'm going to set up four digit pin here set up four digit pin and then next click on next enter pin again to confirm okay now you'll be asked to choose your device name you have to set up device name so I will set up a name for my device I'll use Vol Voski okay Voski as my device name and you'll be asked to either set up a new wallet or recover an old wallet so I'll set up a new wallet and walk you through the step wallet you be displayed 24 seed phrase which you you ask to write down. So once you click on continue and then I'll I've been given 24 recovery phrase okay. I've, I'll write down these six first and then I'll mix it to write down until I've written down the 24 word phrase. Okay? So I'm just going to get my pen and write down this change for recovery process. Okay. Write it down from the first word to the last word. It's gonna take quite a minute. Stay with me. So I've written this down and written chef already the remaining word phrase. Okay. It's going to take quite a while, so you have to be patient with me. not in my intentions to make this video long. So still writing it down. Six 
more words. Okay, so this is the remaining six more words to go. Why setting this up? Please make sure you write down these words. Okay, they are very very important in recovering your funds. You can use the recovery words to access your wallet if in case you lose this. So I've written down my 24 word phrase and I'll next. So I need to confirm each word one after the other. So since I've written them down, I'll just look at it and pick the word. Okay. I'm going to take a while to confirm each word. One after the other. Confirm word three, word four, word five, word six, seven, eight. So I've confirmed the word and it's setting up my wallet. So do not turn off this wallet. Okay. Congratulations. Your device is now set up successfully. Click next to go into your account portfolio. So I've add next and okay. So now I'll need to go to CQX website in order to access to create a wallet okay I need to go to CQX website now so quickly I'll share my screen and guide you through how you can set this up so so let's let's get started so go to wallet go to this link wallet.sequx.com okay wallet.sequx.com and then need to open the interface where you can set up your wallet. Let's, let's get started. So go to wallet, go to this link, wallet.sequx.com. Okay. Wallet.sequx.com. And then need to open the interface where you can set up your wallet so you click on connect via usb and it will scan if there is a wallet connected if there's a wallet connected you can see it shows the name of the device here i'll click on it and click connect okay so my wallet is being connected and as you can see on my screen it shows um uh, take x news product it supports it here supports all TRC20 tokens, TRC10 and TRC20 tokens supports Binance Smart Chain and ADA supports Cardano. Okay, so I'll click on continue. And okay, it's requiring me to update my firmware immediately for continue use. So uh, I can't skip it, so I have to upgrade this now. Okay, let me quickly, let me quickly update it so it's updating as you can see it's in update mode 
But let's wait for it for some minutes to finish updating and and then well, while it's updating, you can see at the left hand side here we have different coins supported. Okay, Bitcoin. Okay, I support Bitcoin, Ethereum. Finance, um, finance matching, Cardano, Dodge, Ripple, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Stellar, Tron, Dash, Digibytes, Gross to Coin, Daps Coin. Okay, what's Daps Coin? So So I'll click on, I need to update the firmware. So updating firmware so we can proceed to use our wallet, okay? So if you get this the first time, you might be required to update your wallet. So make sure you update it, all right? Make sure you update your wallet in order to use it efficiently. As you can see on my screen here, it's updating and it's counting. I'm going to wait a little bit for update to be known. Then I'll show you how to send and receive funds in this wallet. Okay. Update is complete. I'll need to reconnect. So, reconnecting my wallet now. And okay, so let's try. Let's try to open an account, okay? Let's open an account, add an account name. Let's say BTC, BTC1, okay? Creating an account. Now, as if you see, if you see here, I've created an account, a BTC account, which I can now send Okay, I can send that cryptocurrency, put the person's Bitcoin address here and send, I can as well receive. This is my Bitcoin address, okay? Once you click it, you see it also displays this on your hardware wallet. It shows you to scan the address on your hardware wallet to receive, okay? I've created the receiving address, right? So, if you if you look here now, you see that I have the wallet has been created here. So let's create a Ethereum. Let's add an Ethereum account into this hardware wallet. Let's give it ETH one. Okay, ETH1 and same ETH has been created on our hardware wallet. You can see, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? Okay, ETH1 has been created on our hardware wallet. And then let's create a BNB address. So add an account, BNB1, okay? 
PN B1. So this uh, BNB ad account, you can send BNB here and this option, and then you can receive, you'll be given an address here, okay, to receive your BNB. So this is just, once you set up this, and you can now use your, you can now use it to send and receive Cryptocurrency, as you can see, we have BTC, ETH, and BNB here. Okay. Now, when you click on, when you click on each of these accounts on your hardware wallet, you can only use the hardware wallet to receive, to save. Okay. As you can see, it gives you a QR code and the wallet address, which you can scan to receive funds. All right. If you want to send out funds, you have to connect it to your, you have to connect it through the web wallet. Okay, you go to wallet.securex.com to connect it, connect your wallet. So that's pretty much about it, right? It's a very nice interface, okay? A very nice wallet, All right? So you can also click go to secure.com slash how it works to get a step-by-step -step guide on how to, okay? I think the SecureX also have, have a mobile app. It has a mobile app which you can download and connect your connect your wallet to it. Okay, here yeah. you can use the web. You can use the Apple app, and you can use the Android app as well. Same process, like here. That's it, guys.